Hello crochet friends, welcome back. We're working on our Mickey Mouse dishcloth here and this is row five. So last time we chained one, we turned our work, we have the back of our work facing us, right? We have 29 stitches on our work and we're gonna get started with nine single crochets. So we're gonna enter that first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, okay? Next stitch, single crochet. All right, that's two. Next stitch, this is three single crochets. This is four single crochets. So we need nine until we get to our bobble. Five, one, two, three, four, five, yep. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, one more, okay. Nine, okay, you have nine. Now we're gonna do our first bobble. So we're gonna try to remember, right? Yarn over, enter our stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, enter again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two, just two. This is wanting to separate on me again. There we go. Yarn over one more time. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through just two. Okay, we have four, right? Yarn over, pull through all four. Okay. There we go. Whew. Okay, so that was nine single crochets. A bobble stitch. Now we want to nine single crochet. So enter your next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. That's one. This is two single crochet. This is three single crochet, four, so we need to get our placing right, right? Five, six, seven, eight. And I just wanna double check. Let me count, because I was talking and um, just want to make sure that I have nine single crochets because like I said, you'll mess up your space your spacing between your bobbles. So there is my bobble, and that's my long stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Yes, okay, I'm sorry, I just don't want to mess up where my bobble is because it'll mess up our design. So yarn over, enter your stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go in again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. And there's that little stray. Okay, yarn over one more time. Enter that same stitch every time. Yarn over, pull through two. We have four. Yarn over and pull through all four. All righty. Ooh, nine single crochets. <laughs> so enter your next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Oh, I'm sorry. Enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. That's two, this is three. These are all single crochets. Four, ooh, five. How's your count doing? You doing okay? Six. And then the count will be important and that's why I just always double check myself um, it, to get this design right. When you're working a design, you gotta make sure that count is okay. All right, that's nine, chain one, turn your work. So that's the end of row five and we have these two other bobbles here, okay? Um, one on each side there. So we're starting to make the circle. Now this is row six. We chained one, we turned our work. This is six. These are all single crochets. Easy peasy. Ooh, okay. So we should have 29 still. And we're gonna just single crochet each stitch all the way to the end. We just need to remember when we get to our bobbles that it has a long stitch, right? Um, and it just, it looks a little different. We just gotta take our time, make sure we're getting the right piece, right? Sometimes when things change up, it looks a little different. 
see here is our single crochet before it which looks a little open doesn't it and then the bobble which is long and I got an extra piece there we go and then the one there we go okay so we're okay just make sure you get that long bobble all right so keep going with these single crochets all the way to the end of row six here we go okay this is my last single crochet i'm gonna chain one turn my work okay turn your work we're on the back side again. This is now row seven. All right, how are we doing? Okay, all right, it's seven. So let's get started with seven single crochets. So enter your first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, this is two. Doing well with those single crochets now, right? <laughs> Three, this is four. Five, six, seven. All right, we did seven, and then we're gonna do a bobble stitch. So yarn over, enter, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, enter again. It's all same stitch, right? Yarn over and pull through two. This is when I can't get everybody for some reason. No, nope, I don't think I did. Come on. Here we go. Yarn over, enter again. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Two. Okay, we have four, right? Yarn over and pull through all four. All right, so we single crocheted seven. We did a bobble stitch. And now we're gonna single crochet 13, okay? So that joins our bobble right there. That's one, this is two, and three. Go all the way to you have 13. Okay, did you do 13? All right, so now let's do a puff stitch, a bobble stitch. Yarn over, enter your stitch, your next stitch there. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, Yarn over, go in again, same stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, last time. Enter, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. We have four. Yarn over and pull through all four. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet the next seven stitches. So enter your next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Check that will secure your bobble. And we're gonna single crochet. This is number two. Need a little more yarn. Here we go. Two, this is three, four, five. And seven, all right, there's seven at the end. Here we are. Chain one, turn your work. The right sh side should be facing you with all your pretty little baubles there. And let's do row eight, cause it's just single crochets. So we're just gonna single crochet each of these stitches. We still have 29 because we've not taken off any stitches or added any stitches to our work. It will, it's con staying, staying consistent 29 here. We just got to remember that our bobbles are a different looking stitch every time um, when we get there and that's, that's okay. It's just the way it is, right? So we have this stitch right before it Make sure you're getting that one. And then that long bobble. Okay, and then you continue on. So you're gonna just work all the way across with your single crochets. Not bad, I know you can do this. <laughs> I just keep running out of yarn here. I'm gonna keep grabbing some. I like this red, it's pretty. You could do any color, any color you like. 
Um, I just thought red something. I don't. I don't tend to make a lot of red. I don't think. I mean, not for not for dishcloths at least. Um, but I do like the darker colors because my husband likes to use them in the coffee area. And whew, that's that's tough on the light colored dishcloths. <laughs> so the dark is nicer. Um, but yeah, you pick what works with your kitchen or what what you like or if you're giving it to somebody as a gift. But I thought the red might be kind of fun. So here we go. There's my long bobble stitch. All right. And we're just single crocheting. This is row eight, 29 stitches. Um, not bad. We're doing wonderfully with this. I really do like the size of it. I hope you do also. So this is wonderful today. All right. Last stitch, there it is. It's that funny little lay one. I gotta, gotta use that fingernail to grab it. Chain one, turn your work, and we'll be ready for next time for row nine when we meet up next. So we're getting a nice little design here. This is the circle of the face, okay? And we'll see you next time for row nine. Thank you and have a joyful day.